Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another adventure. We're on the uh, Skyliner, leaving Hollywood Studios, and we're today we're going to go do a resort tour. I haven't done one in a while, so I wanted to continue the series on some of the resorts that we've been doing. So far, we've done the Swan and the Dolphin, and then we did the Beach Club and the Yacht Club. So we're going to stay in the Epcot area. We've still got a couple more. The Swan Reserve just opened. We still have the boardwalk to do, but today we are going to do the Riviera Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Hey everybody, welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. So Riviera Resort is a Disney Vacation Club resort. It was built by Disney Parks between Epcot and Hollywood Studios. It was the first newly constructed resort to be served by the Skyliner. And it's the 15th Disney Vacation Club property to be built. The resort is themed after Walt Disney's trips and experiences in Europe and his love of the French and Italian Riviera. A collection of his personal travel photos are incorporated into the resort's decor along with some personal photos and some memorabilia. It opened on December 16th, 2019 and it's walkable from the Caribbean Beach Resort. It also has quick access via the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios and to Epcot, and then bus transportation to all the other parks. So plans for the 300 room resort released during the D23 Expo in 2017. Being part of the Disney Vacation Club offers guests multiple room styles ranging from tower or deluxe studios to, to one, two, or three bedroom villas. So from the back of the Riviera Resort, there's the uh, pool, of course. And then if you turn, there's a beautiful lake out here. You can see the Skyliner off in the distance. And then that's the Caribbean Beach Resort on sort of all sides of the other side of the lake. And then for the little ones, they have a splash area that's really highly themed. Very, very pretty, very well done little little kids would be really happy with this little play area there's also a beach area over here now just like any other disney resort there is no access into the water into any of the lakes due to risk from wildlife and then uh, the famous florida lake amoebas so disney just doesn't allow anybody in but you can go sit on the sand in a chair you just can't get into the water so as far as dining at the resort goes, you have three options. La Petite Cafe, named after the Disney film Aristocrats, offers coffee menu during the day and becomes a small plate and drink lounge after hours. Primo Piatta is a quick service style restaurant that offers quick bites and also a variety of beer and wines. And then finally, Topolino's Terrace is a rooftop sit down dining experience located on the top floor of the resort. Breakfast and dinner are served. And you can also see the fireworks from Disney's Hollywood Studios from the rooftop. So I got the croque monsieur with fries and a fountain drink. Total was $18.09 after tax. We'll see if it lives up to the one at Le Chef de France in Epcot. I don't know if it will or not but I'm excited to find out. That looks and smells incredible. Ooh, hot.
stuck in summer mind. I think that now's the time. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching a flight, I'm coming home. Well, back on board the Disney Skyliner, heading back towards Hollywood Studios to get back to the car. I just wanted to thank you for coming along with us today on our trip to the Riviera Resort. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it all. We didn't get to see any rooms because I'm not staying there. But as always, guys, thank you for coming along on these journeys. If never lost, then never found. So go get lost.